One hour English conversation. Jokes, anecdotes, and stories as told by native English speakers. <laughs> Little jokes. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about learning to skate? I don't know. The ground. <laughs> Saturday come before Thursday? I don't know. Where? In a dictionary. <laughs> What do you get if you cross a snowman and a shark? I don't know. Frostbite. <laughs> Little Jimmy comes home from school one day. He's crying. What's the matter, Jimmy? His mum asks. We were doing sums today, mum, he says. What's wrong? Were they really hard? Well, the teacher said either I couldn't count, or I was stupid, or all three. <laughs> Blood. There are three bats who live in a cave right next to three castles. One night, the bats have a bet to see who can drink the most blood. Later that night, the first bat comes home with blood on his teeth. The other two bats are amazed and they ask how much blood he's drunk. See that castle over there? He asks. Yes, the other two bats reply. Well, I drank the blood of three people. The next night, the second bat comes back with blood all around his mouth. The other two bats are astonished and ask how many people's blood he's drunk. And the second bat says, See that castle over there? I drank the blood of five people. The following night, the third bat comes back and he is absolutely covered in blood. The other two bats are astounded. See that castle over there? The third bat asks. And before the other two bats can answer, he says, Well, I didn't. <laughs> Listening and repeat. Skate. Skate. To skate. If you skate, you move with skates, shoes with wheels, on your feet. Cross. Cross. To cross. If you cross A and B. You mix them in order to create a new thing. Frostbite. 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 A condition in which a part of the body becomes frozen. Sums. Sums. A sum. A mathematical calculation. Bats. A bat. A little animal that flies and lives in caves. Some like to drink blood. Have a bet. Have a bet. To have a bet. To play a game for money. Blood. 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 The red liquid inside our bodies. Amazed. 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 Very surprised. Astonished. Astonished.
astonished, very surprised. Astounded. Astounded. Astounded, very surprised. Buffet Revival The Rise of the Buffet Restaurant When was the last time you went to a buffet restaurant? According to a recent survey, they're becoming more and more popular. But why? Part of the reason is that they're cheap. And with the recession, most people want to save a bit of money. Some buffets have incredible offers. All you can eat for 10 pounds, says the Fryburn Inn of Wokes Master England. Unlimited portions for just 7 pounds 99, exclaims Tayburns. And eat as much as you like for just 5 pounds boasts Kormas of London with its Indian food buffet. Buffets also offer quantity. I always have the buffet breakfast on the ferry from Portsmouth to Santander. I can sit there till lunchtime stuffing myself, drinking coffee and watching dolphins. After that, I don't have to eat again for eight hours explained Mark Jones, who often travels to Spain by boat. I always have a buffet lunch on Fridays, explained Daniel Carrington, a city worker. It's great fun as there's just so much food to choose from, and there are no limits. Buffets offer variety, too. The Dragon King Buffet in Manchester offers diners more than 101 dishes. There are meat and fish dishes, cold and hot choices, and sweet and savory items to choose from. I love it because you can mix and match, explained Alice Harper. I often put sweet food with meat. My girlfriend thinks it's disgusting, but I love it. And another fan said, I think it's a brilliant way to make combinations. I often combine salad with pasta, sandwiches, potatoes, and lots of meat. But not everyone likes buffets. I hate all the pushing and shoving said Sam Paulson. The food is terrible, said Harriet Jones. It's often cold, and people breathe over it, touch it, and do all sorts of horrible things with it. I hate it because it's all so rushed, explained Madison Smithers. People trying to eat as much food as they can in as short a time as possible. I don't find it an enjoyable experience at all. I like to sit down for my meal and eat it calmly and quietly. But at buffets, my husband just stuffs himself. It isn't pleasant at all. He's got no control. So, what do you think of the buffet restaurants? Listening and repeat. Buffet restaurant. Buffet restaurant. A buffet restaurant, a type of restaurant with food placed in a public area. Diners serve themselves. Survey. Survey. A survey, a series of questions asked in order to get people's opinions on things a recession. 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 A recession, a period of poor economic activity. To save. To save. To save. If you save money, you keep it and don't spend it. Boast. 
boasts. To boast. If someone boasts about something, they say how good, great, wonderful it is. A fairy. A fairy. A ferry. A boat for taking passengers, vehicles from one side of a river, area of water to another, often found in a city by the coast or with a river. Stuffing myself. Stuffing myself. To stuff yourself. To eat a lot of food, so much that you feel very full. Diners. Diners. A diner, a person who is eating in a restaurant. Dishes. Dishes. A dish, a plate of food. Savory. Savory. Savory, savory. Food is not sweet. Mix and match. Mix and match. To mix and match, to create a combination by having a bit of one thing and a bit of another. Shoving. Shoving. To shove, to push aggressively. Breathe over. Breathe over. To breathe over. If someone breathes over food, they push air out of their mouth and onto the food. Rushed. 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 If something is rushed, it happens in a quick, non-calm way. Enjoyable. 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 Pleasant and nice. Meal. Meal. A meal, a period of time when you sit down to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. Merchandising mania. How some brands just keep on making money. Bart Simpson cups, Britney Spears hats, Manchester United football shirts. Merchandise is big business these days, but is it all good? You can find merchandising just about everywhere. For every film aimed at children, there are t-shirts, books, stickers, posters, and video games. Sports team merchandising is also extremely popular. You can buy your favorite player's football shirt, get a jacket with your team's logo on it, plus all the t-shirts, shoes, kitchenware, mugs, hats, and caps. Television is another area of popular merchandising. TV series such as Star Trek and The Simpsons both offer a whole range of products for the fans. However, some companies seem to take things to extremes. Take the case of the Twilight franchise. The movie Twilight, made in 2008 based on the novel of the same name written by Stephanie Meyer, was about a teenager, Bella Swan, and vampire Edward Cullen. It was a huge success. But Twilight is not just a book or a movie anymore. It's a multi-million dollar industry thanks to all the Twilight merchandising. This includes Twilight games for Wii, a Twilight cookbook, love at first bite, a Twilight bra, Twilight bandages, and an Edward Cullen shower curtain. Imagine having him watching over you as you take a shower. But it isn't only in the world of entertainment where you can find merchandising. Right now, President Barack Obama is at the center of a big wave of merchandising mania. The New York Times has estimated that more than $200 million, or 141 million pounds, in Obama merchandise has been sold. And the online shop eBay is currently selling more than 37,000 items. The range of goods includes commemorative coins, t-shirts, plates, sports equipment, sweets, cigars, and even an Obama Spider-Man com comic adventure that involves the new president. There's also an ice cream flavor called Yes Pecan, a play on Mr. Obama's Yes We Can slogan. 
and a cleaning product called The Audacity of Soap, which mimics the title of the president's second book, The Audacity of Hope. In response, White House lawyers are trying to restrict the use of President Barack Obama's image. Our lawyers are working on developing a policy that will protect the presidential image, while being careful not to squelch the enthusiasm that the public has for the president, said Jan Psaki, a White House spokesman. Whatever next. Listening and repeat. Merchandising. 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 Goods such as toys, t-shirts, caps, etc. that are produced in order to promote a film, sports team, music group, etc. Aimed at. Aimed at. To aim at. If A is aimed at B, A is designed, made for B. Kitchenware. 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 Things that are used in the kitchen. Cups, plates, knives, forks, glasses, etc. Mugs. Mugs. A mug. A thick, ceramic cup that is often used for drinking coffee or tea. Range of. Range of. A range of. A range of things is a number of different things of the same general kind. Bra? Bra? A bra. Clothing worn by women on the top part of their bodies under their shirts, etc. Bandages? Bandages? A bandage, a piece of material, cloth used to cover a cut or wound. Shower curtain. Shower curtain. A shower curtain, a piece of plastic placed around the open part of a shower. It is to stop the water coming out. Wave of. Wave of. A wave of. If there is a wave of something, that thing happens a lot and in great quantity. Commemorative coins. Commemorative coins. A commemorative coin. A special coin, metal piece of money, that is produced in honor of someone, something. Play on. Play on. A play on. A joke based on the different meanings or sounds of a word. Audacity. 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 Audacious behavior. Actions that involve risks in order to achieve something. Mimics. Mimics. To mimic. To copy and imitate as a way of making fun of something to squelch. 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 To squelch. To stop. To prevent. To eliminate. Coin. Coin. Plate. Plate. Cup. Cup. Bandage. Bandage. Bra. Bra. Mug. 
mug. Dialogue. In this dialogue, Charlotte is at Toby's house. She's helping him with the washing up. Hey, can you help me lay the table? Yes, sure. How many guests are there? Six, including yourself. So that's seven place settings in total, including you, right? Well done. I never knew you were so good at math. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Which plates shall I get? The ones in the top drawer. Oh, special guests, are they? My boss is coming, and I'm hoping for a promotion. Very clever. So, will you be using the silver cutlery? Of course. Nothing less. Where's the tablecloth? In the kitchen. And bring in the napkins while you're at it. Yes, ma'am. Do you need any side plates? Of course, but don't drop them. That crockery has been in the family for hundreds of years. Stop worrying. Whoops. Useful expressions. Could you lay the table, please? Shall I fold the napkins? This knife is a bit dirty. Have you got a clean one? Have you got a matching cup and saucer? Where shall I put the plates? The forks go on the left. The knives should be on the right. Put the napkins next to the side plates. Do we need any wine glasses? Listening and repeat. Lay the table. Lay the table. To lay the table, to prepare the table for breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc., by putting the plates, knives, forks, etc., there. A plate. A plate. A side plate. A side plate. A knife. A knife. A fork. A fork. A spoon. A spoon. Crockery. Crockery. A tablecloth. A tablecloth. Cutlery. Cutlery. A glass. A glass. A cup and saucer. A cup and saucer. A bowl. A bowl. Destructive birdie. Bird causes expensive accident. He was real calm, said police officer Greg Johnston, after assisting a driver who'd driven his one million pound Bugatti supercar into a salt marsh. If that had been me, I'd have been pretty upset, but I imagine the guy was probably mad inside. The driver, Evan Stevens, blamed a low flying pelican for the mishap. I was driving along, listening to the radio, when all of a sudden this bird flew across my windshield. I just panicked and swerved across the road, trying to avoid it. I guess I shouldn't have been so kind. That bird has ruined my car," explained Stevens. After Stevens lost control of the car, it plunged into the salt marsh beside the road. He managed to climb out, and wasn't injured in the accident. 
but the car slowly sank into the water. Stevens, 43, had bought the car recently, and it had just 700 kilometers on the clock. I don't know whether the car can be salvaged or not, but I do know that salt water isn't good for anything, he added. The Bugatti Veyron is the fastest and most expensive production car in the world and is capable of reaching speeds of more than 300 kilometers per hour. This car is probably a write-off. I only hope he can get something back on the insurance, Officer Johnston added. Corny Criminals. Jobs for the Boys. How to get a job against all the odds. The British often lecture other nations on how democracy should work. But perhaps they need to take a few lessons themselves, as recent events have shown. Take the case of Robert Burston. He's just been appointed by the UK Tax Office, HMRC, to take charge of their largest call centre in East Kilbride, just outside Glasgow. His job is to coordinate the call centre and give advice on tax matters. But this isn't Burston's first encounter with the tax office. A few months ago, Burston was made bankrupt by them. Burston's debt, the origins of which are not known, stands at more than 300,000 euros. So how did Burston a man made bankrupt over unpaid tax, get a job advising everybody else on their tax bills? Simple. His best friend, Linda Talbot, who is the overall director of call centres, helped him. Talbot and Burston go back a long way. They worked together in the same bank during the 1990s, and until recently... They could be found as each other's friend on Facebook pages. The links have since been removed. Suspicions were raised when Burston was brought in on higher pay than the normal level for his grade. Another favour from his friend. The tax office insists that the correct procedures were followed. We are sure that there is nothing untoward in the way that Miss Talbot went about recruiting Mr Burston. And that was all they had to say on the matter. Listening and repeat. Assisting. 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 To assist, to help. Salt Marsh. Salt Marsh Salt Marsh A salt marsh, an area of land that is wet with water from the sea, salty water. Upset 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 Upset, angry and sad. Pelican. 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 A pelican. A large white bird with a big beak, nose, for holding fish. Mishap. 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 A mishap, an accident. Windshield. 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 A windshield. The big piece of glass at the front of a car that you look through whilst driving. A windscreen in British English. Swerved, 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 
to swerve, to change direction suddenly. Plunged into Plunged into Plunged into To plunge into, if a car plunges into water, it goes into the water quickly and violently. Sank. 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 To sink. If an object sinks, it goes to the bottom of the water. On the clock. On the clock. On the clock. On the clock. The number of kilometers miles on the clock represents the number of kilometers miles a car has been driven. Salvaged. 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 To salvage. If someone salvages something, they rescue, save it from the bottom of the sea, a river, etc. Right off. Right off. Right off. A write off. If a car is a write off, it is completely destroyed. Insurance. 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 If you have insurance, you have a legal agreement with an insurance company. They will cover all, some of the costs of an accident. Lecture. 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 To lecture, to explain, tell someone how something works. Appointed. 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 To appoint. If A is appointed to a position in a company, he, she is given that position. HMRC. 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 Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, the British Tax Department. Tax. 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 Money you pay to the government to pay for services, health, the police, education, etc. Encounter. 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 An encounter. A meeting. Especially one that is not planned. Bankrupt. 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 If someone is bankrupt, they have no money to pay their bills. Debt. 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 Money you owe to someone, the bank, etc. Go back a long way. Go back a long way. Go back a long way. To go back a long way. If two people go back a long way, they have known one another for a long time. Removed. 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 To remove, to take off, to delete, eliminate. Suspicions were raised. 
Suspicions were raised. Suspicions were raised. Suspicions were raised. People started to think that something dishonest, bad had happened. Great. 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 A grade, an accepted level or standard. Nothing untoward. Nothing untoward. Nothing untoward. Nothing untoward. Nothing bad. Illegal. Dishonest. Recruiting. 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 To recruit. If someone is recruited for a job, they are interviewed and hired to do that job. Celebrity narcissists. Are there any real people left in the world of entertainment? Being beautiful is important when you're a celebrity. After all, who else would do some of the things they do just to stay gorgeous? Most stars are concerned about their looks, and it's perfectly natural given that their careers, to a certain degree, depend on their appearance. Ray Liotta was recently photographed going to a beauty parlor to get his eyebrows plucked. Yes, that's it, the Hollywood hard man, who starred as ruthless criminals and gangsters, likes to groom his eyebrows. And Kiefer Sutherland regularly goes to a salon in Beverly Hills to get his fake tan topped up. Isn't he Jack Bauer from 24? Surely he's too busy saving the world, again, to worry about his complexion. Apparently not. And Leonardo DiCaprio reportedly once spent $1,400 on face masks, moisturizers, and skin lotions. According to one witness in the store where the store did his shopping, Leo asked a lot of questions and seemed to be most concerned about anti-wrinkle treatments. Other celebrities go for more radical treatments. This may involve a bit of cosmetic surgery. A lip enhancement, a chin implant, a facelift, a nose job, a tummy tuck. These are just a few of the options available, if you've got the money. The list of those who've resorted to plastic surgery is long, but some of those who appear to be big fans include Cher, Pamela Anderson, Tom Jones, and Demi Moore. Although she swears her youthful looks are down to vigorous exercise, and a diet of raw vegetables. Other stars are open to more unusual options. Julia Roberts reportedly soaks her hands in olive oil to keep the skin soft and the nails from going brittle. Demi Moore admits that she regularly flies to Austria to let leeches suck her blood and detoxify her. It's okay, though, because... As she herself has said, they are highly trained medical leeches. And Gwyneth Paltrow has been buying synthetic snake venom at $185 for a half kilo because it can help prevent wrinkles. Paltrow is also a fan of cupping. This ancient form of medicine has been practiced by the Chinese for thousands of years. It's designed to treat aches and pains and ease stress. It involves placing heated cups over the skin. Apparently, this causes suction and stimulates the flow of blood. In 2004, the actress created a stir when she attended a film premiere with huge red circles over her back. It later turned out that they were the result of a recent cupping therapy session. I have been helped tremendously by the practices of cupping, which can help the body heal itself. When implemented by a professional with experience, the benefits can work wonders.
Paltrow explained. It may just be time for celebrities to stop overindulging themselves and to dedicate their time to more worthwhile pursuits. But then, what would happen to all the tanning salons and beauty parlors? Listening and repeat. Gorgeous. 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 Very nice and attractive. Looks. 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 Your looks refers to your physical appearance. Eyebrows. 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 The line of hairs above your eye. Plucked. 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 To pluck. If you pluck a hair out, you pull it out. Hard man. Hard man. Hard man. A hard man. A physically and mentally strong person. Ruthless. 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 Ruthless, with no pity or mercy for anyone. Groom. 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 To groom, to clean, brush, cut, care for, etc. Fake. 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 Not real. Tan. 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 A tan. If someone has a tan, their skin is darker because they've been in the sun. Topped up. Topped up. Topped up. To top up, if you top something up, you make it full again. In this case, you lie in the sun, or on a sunbed, so your tan is at its maximum level. Moisturizers 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 Moisturizer a cream for the skin to stop the skin being dry. Wrinkle. 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 A wrinkle. A line on the face that often appears with age. Facelift. 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 A facelift, an operation to take off wrinkles or other marks from the face. Nose job. Nose job. Nose job. A nose job, an operation to make the nose smaller or straighter. Tummy tuck. Tummy tuck. Tummy tuck. A tummy tuck, an operation to make the stomach smaller. Resorted to. 
resorted to resorted to to resort to to use as a final option swears 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 to swear to promise that something is true down to down to down to down to because of raw 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 not cooked soaks 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 to soak to make very wet by putting in a liquid brittle 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 hard and easily broken leeches 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 a leech an insect that drinks blood suction 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 a force that causes a liquid to go into something created a stir created a stir created a stir to create a stir to cause people to become worried excited agitated etc mad dogs and englishmen more crazy sports from the english last month we looked at some unusual contests from the uk this is the second part of a mini series on wacky pastimes first on our list of strange sports is the world's greatest liar competition this takes place in wasdale cumbria every november or at least that's what they told us the competition was started in memory of local landlord will ritson who became famous for the fibs that he would tell his more gullible customers the competition is held at the very same pub and the winner is given the title World's Greatest Liar, plus a lot of free drinks. Some of the topics for last year's Tall Tales included tea bag weaving, mermaid farming, and flying sheep. Next on our list is the sport of shin kicking. This unusual competition has been practiced at Chipping Camden since the 17th century and is a local highlight. Basically, shin kicking is what it says it is. Opponents hold one another by the shoulders and try to kick each other on the shins. If their opponent falls to the ground, they earn a point. The winner is the competitor with the highest score. These days, participants are permitted to stuff hay down their trousers to prevent serious injury. However, in the past, things were more bloodthirsty, as competitors wore boots with iron toe caps, and preparations for the competition involved hardening their shins with hammers. <sighs> Ouch! Nevertheless, anyone hoping to be crowned shin kicking champion will undoubtedly have to put up with a few bruises third on our list is the world black pudding throwing championships it takes place every year in the small town of ramsbottom it celebrates the ancient rivalry between the counties of lancashire and yorkshire and contestants gather at the royal oak pub 
The game is simple. Participants are given three black puddings. The objective is to throw the puddings, underarm only, at a stack of Yorkshire puddings, which are on a plinth about six metres off the ground. The person who knocks over the most Yorkshire puddings is the winner. Well, what can you say? Only the English. More next month. Listening and repeat. Landlord. 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 A landlord. A person who owns or manages a pub per bar, etc. Fibs. 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 A fib, a lie, something that isn't true. Gullible. 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 Someone who is gullible believes things that are obviously not true. Tall tales. Tall tales. Tall tales. A tall tale, a lie, a story that is not true. Weaving. 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 To weave. If you weave something, you produce it by crossing threads, thin pieces of cotton, etc., over and under one another. Mermaid. 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 A mermaid, a creature that is half fish, half woman. Shin. 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 A shin, the hard bone at the front of your leg between your knee and your foot. Highlight. 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 A highlight, an important event in the year. Shoulders. 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 A shoulder. Your shoulders are between your neck and the top of your arms. Stuff hate. Stuff hate. Stuff hate. To stuff. To push something in a place quickly and not carefully. Bloodthirsty. 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 With a desire for blood, violence. Toe caps. Toe caps. Toe caps. A toe cap. A piece of metal placed in the inside and end of the shoe, where your toes are, to protect your feet. Hardening. 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 To harden, to make hard, not soft. Hammers. 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 A hammer. A tool used for hitting nails into the wall, etc. It consists of a wooden handle and a metal bar at the end. Crowned. 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 To crown. If you are crowned, champion, 
You are officially declared champion to put up with put up with put up with to put up with if you put up with something bad you accept it as part of the process bruises 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 a bruise an area of purple dark skin where you have been hit underarm 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 throwing with a low swinging movement not over your shoulder of yorkshire puddings of yorkshire puddings of yorkshire puddings a yorkshire pudding a type of food made with flour eggs and milk it is often served with meat plinth 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 a plinth a column with a flat area at the top for exhibiting an object a statue etc disastrous defeats just a few of sport's most memorable losses Sport is one of life's great spectacles, and winners often inspire admiration and respect. But what about the losers? Here are some of sport's most memorable moments of defeat. Six love, six love. That was a score in the final of the French Open in 1988, when Natasha Svereva took on Steffi Graf. The game lasted 32 minutes, the shortest Grand Slam final ever. Afterwards, Svereva reportedly said, she was just too good. Heavyweight boxing star John the Quiet Man Ruiz had the same problem when he met David the Terminator Tua in the ring in 1996. The fight lasted 19 seconds before Ruiz was knocked out cold and seeing stars. Still, at least both of them lived up to their nicknames. But at other times, sports stars only have themselves to blame, like Lindsay Jacobellis. With seconds to go in the final of the Winter Olympic snowboard cross event, Jacobellis had a huge lead. There was just one simple jump left to complete, and then the gold medal was all but hers. But instead of just doing the jump, Jacobellis tried to do a method grab, a difficult and completely unnecessary maneuver. She fell over and could do nothing but watch helplessly as her opponent passed her by and gold turned to silver. Still, at least Jacobellis took her defeat well. Snowboarding is fun. I was just having fun, she said afterwards. Jean van der Velde probably wasn't having so much fun on the 18th hole of the Open Championship in 1999. Virtually unknown before the tournament, van der Velde found himself three shots ahead at the end of the final round. Golf's greatest prize was one hole away. Alas, it proved to be one hole too many. Van der Velde let the pressure get to him and played a series of crazy shots ending up in the water. He famously followed the ball into the water to see if he could still hit it out. This defeat has gone down as one of the greatest chokes in modern sport. Sometimes failure can make you more popular than ever. Take Eddie the Eagle Edwards from England. He entered two ski jumping events in the 1988 Winter Olympics and came last by such a long way that he became an instant celebrity. At the closing ceremony, the organizing committee president, Frank King, gave a speech in which he said, Some have won gold, some have broken records, and some of you have soared like an eagle. At that moment, 100,000 people in the stadium began to chant, Eddie, Eddie. Who says no one remembers the losers? Listening and repeat. French Open. French Open. French Open. The French Open and a major annual tennis tournament in France. Took on. Took on. 
to con to take on if you take on a sporting competitor you try to win against them in a game the ring 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 the ring the place where boxers fight knocked out cold knocked out cold knocked out cold to knock out cold to hit and make unconscious seeing stars seeing stars seeing stars to see stars if someone sees stars they see imaginary flashing lights after being hit on the head lived up to lived up to lived up to to live up to if you live up to a reputation etc you do what people expect you to do nicknames 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 a nickname an informal name blame 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 to blame to say that someone is responsible for something often something bad huge lead huge lead huge lead a huge lead if a runner etc has a huge lead he she is far ahead of the other competitors was all but hers was all but hers was all but hers was all but hers it was 99% hers provided that she didn't make a mistake passed her by passed her by passed her by to pass you by if someone passes you by they go past you and continue advancing let the pressure get to him let the pressure get to him let the pressure get to him to let the pressure get to you to let the tension pressure stress affect you in a negative way chokes 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 a choke inform an unexpected loss at the last minute sword 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 to soar to fly high up into the air very quickly newspaper stings getting news and information the hard way Britain has a long tradition of journalistic excellence. Part of this involves investigative reporting, and an important aspect of this is the newspaper sting. Undercover, hidden camera operations that are designed to trick public figures into revealing lots of interesting information. One of the most recent undercover operations has become known as the cash for influence sting or lobby gates as part of this senior labor members of parliament were secretly filmed offering to use their connections with government in return for money it was a highly complex operation first of all a bogus lobbying company anderson perry associates 
was set up by journalists from the Sunday Times newspaper and Channel 4, a British television channel. The company claimed to be based in the US and its website described it as a bespoke consultancy that helps organisations and individuals maximise and exceed expectation. It alleged to have 120 clients in Europe, the Middle East and the US, operating primarily in the health and defence industries. In total, 20 MPs were invited to attend the meetings to discuss joining an advisory board. Eventually, 10 MPs turned up, unaware that it was all a trick. The meetings were held in offices in London's St James Square. During these, an undercover Sunday Times journalist asked the MPs how the company could go about influencing policy and how they could improve their chances of winning government contracts. Meanwhile, a hidden camera recorded the conversations. Among those secretly filmed were two former cabinet ministers, Stephen Byers and Jeff Hoon. Stephen John Byers, born on the 13th of April 1953, has been a member of parliament since 1992. He has served in the cabinet as Secretary of State for Trade and Industry and Secretary of State for Transport, among other things. During the interview, he boasted about how he had changed policy by lobbying his former colleagues. He asked for up to €7,000 a day for his services and, on one occasion, claimed to be able to use his friendship with Business Secretary Peter Mandelson to help his clients' interests. He also described himself as a bit like a sort of cab for hire. Geoffrey, Jeff William Hoon, born on the 6th of December 1953, served as a Member of Parliament between 1992 and 2010. He is a former Defence Secretary and Transport Secretary, amongst other things. Hoon told the undercover reporter that he was interested in translating my knowledge and contacts about the international scene into something that, frankly, makes money. Fellow MPs were shocked at their colleagues' stupidity. The Chancellor, Alistair Darling, told the BBC that the best answer when you get a call like that is to put the receiver back down again. And Foreign Secretary David Miliband said there's absolutely no room for anyone to trade on their ministerial office. People who come into politics do so because of what they want to do for the country. Well, you wouldn't have thought so. Listening and repeat. Newspaper sting. Newspaper sting. Newspaper sting. A newspaper sting a secret operation in which journalists pretend to be someone else in order to obtain information from a public figure, often by secretly recording the meeting. Undercover 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 an undercover operation is one in which people have false identities. Trick. 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 To trick into. If you trick a into doing B, you convince a to do B by saying false things or doing dishonest things. Labor. Labor. Labour Labour, the socialist, left-wing, more or less, political party in the UK. Bogus 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 Bogus, not real, false. Lobbying company 
Lobbying company. Lobbying company. A lobbying company. A company that tries to influence government ministers or MPs to change the law to the benefit of their clients. Set up. Set up. Set up. To set up. If something is set up, it is prepared. Bespoke. 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 That is especially designed for a specific purpose. Advisory board. Advisory board. Advisory board. An advisory board, a group of people who give advice to a company. Turned up. Turned up. Turned up. To turn up, to arrive. Go about. Go about. Go about. To go about. If you go about doing something, you do that thing as part of your normal day. Policy. 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 A government's policies are the things it plans to do. Cabinet ministers. Cabinet ministers. Cabinet ministers. A cabinet minister, a member of the government. Secretary. 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 Secretary, the head of a government department. Boasted. 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 To boast. If someone boasts about something, they talk about it and say how good they are at it. Cab. 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 A cab. A tax. For hire. For hire. For hire. For hire. If a taxi is for hire, it means that someone can stop it and use it. Receiver. 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 A receiver, the part of a phone that you speak into and listen to. No room for. No room. No room for. No room for. If you say there is no room for X, you are saying that X is not acceptable. Trade on. Trade on. Trade on. To trade on. If a minister trades on their office. They use their contacts and influence in government to make money. Cycling cities, the best cities in the world for cycling. Is traffic a big problem where you live? Increased cycling may be the answer. Just take a look at these cycle-friendly cities from around the world. 
Cycling is the solution to many problems. More cyclists means less noise, less traffic, less pollution, and a healthier population. But where are the best places to live and cycle? A new report lists the best cities for cyclists. Top of the list is Amsterdam in the Netherlands, also known as the bike capital of the world. An incredible 40% of all traffic movements are by bicycle. There's an extensive network of safe, fast, and comfortable bicycle routes. Plus, there's an anti theft prevention program with underground sheds for bikes. Copenhagen is known as the city of bikes. It's a city where 32% of workers cycle to work because it's fast and easy. Berlin is another European city that's great for cycling. The city has about 80 kilometers of bike lanes and 50 kilometers of pavement paths. Cycling accounts for 12% of total street traffic. Barcelona has been praised for its municipal bicycle service, Bicing. This was introduced in March 2007. It's a bicycle service that allows users to take bicycles from any of the 100 stations spread around the city. Later, they can leave them at any other bike station inside the urban area of the city. The city has created a green ring that surrounds the metropolitan area of Barcelona with a bike path. There are currently 3,250 parking spaces for bikes at street level. Barcelona City Council is also constructing a new underground car park for bicycles. The UK has its cycle friendly cities too. Bristol is currently at the top of the list. It's the birthplace of Sustrans. The Cycle Route Charity, which was formed 30 years ago. One of their projects was converting an old rail line between Bristol and Bath into a bike route. Other bike friendly cities in the UK include Cambridge and York. Cambridge is an old city, but has still managed to build good cycle infrastructure, and cyclists are considered at every stage of any new developments. There's also good cycle parking, park and ride schemes, and excellent public transport. How does your city compare to these? Listening and repeat. Cycling. 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 Riding on a bicycle. Cycle friendly. Cycle friendly. Cycle friendly. Cycle friendly. If a city is cycle friendly, it is good, safe, easy for cycling. Pollution. 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 When there is pollution, the air is dirty and contaminated. List. 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 To list. If a report lists several things, It mentions these things one after another. Extensive. 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 That covers a big area. Underground. 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 That is under the ground, below the surface of the earth. 
sheds 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 a shed a building shelter or covered area for storing things bike lanes bike lanes bike lanes a bike lane a special road for cyclists to cycle on often next to an existing road pavement paths pavement paths pavement paths a pavement path a part of the pavement the place next to a road where people walk where cyclists can cycle praised 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 to praise to say good things about someone something surrounds 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 to surround if a surrounds b a is goes around b bike path bike path bike path a bike path a special road for bicycles rail line rail line rail line A rail line, a route that trains travel along. Infrastructure. 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 The basic facilities of a city such as transport, communications, power supplies, buildings, etc. Park and ride schemes. Park and ride schemes. Park and ride schemes. A park and ride, a system that allows drivers to leave their cars in car parks outside the city and to take a bus into the city. Useful language for successful communication. The telephone, part six. Goodbye. Attempting to finish a conversation. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I really must go now because. Okay, thanks for calling. I'll get on to it right away. I'm sorry, but I've really got to get going. I've got to be in the airport in ten minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, but I've got another call coming in. I'm sorry, but that's my other line. Can I call you back in ten minutes? Okay, I'm glad we've cleared that up. So I'll speak to you again sometime next week. Okay, well, I think that's all, really, isn't it? So, I guess I'd better get going. I'm terribly sorry, but I've really got to get going. Saying goodbye. Bye. See you later. Bye for now. Goodbye. Speak soon. Catch you later. Cheers. Dialogue. In this dialogue, Henry and Elsie are speaking on the phone. Elsie is trying to finish the conversation. And then, this guy turns up and... Hey, have you got the time? Yes, it's... it's ten past six. So anyway, I was waiting there and this guy... Look, 
I'm sorry, but I've really got to get going. I don't want to miss the... Oh, I won't be long. So, anyway... But I really should be going. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a call when I get into Chicago. But I haven't finished my story yet. I know, but I really should get going. My flight leaves in an hour and a half, and it'll take me at least 20 minutes to get to the airport. Okay. Well, have a great flight, and call me as soon as you get in. I'll finish my story later. Great. And don't forget to get me those biscuits I asked for. Don't worry, I won't. See you. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, hang up now. Um... If you don't, I will. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Hey, don't forget... Listening and repeat. And then, this guy turns up and... And then, this guy turns up and... Hey, have you got the time? Hey, have you got the time? Yes, it's... It's ten past six. So anyway, I was waiting there and this guy... So anyway, I was waiting there and this guy... Look, I'm sorry, but I've really got to get going. Look, I'm sorry, but I've really got to get going. I don't want to miss... I don't want to miss... Oh, I won't be long, so anyway... I won't be long, so anyway... But, I really should be going. But, I really should be going. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call when I get into Chicago. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call when I get into Chicago. But I haven't finished my story yet. But I haven't finished my story yet. I know, but I really should get going. I know, but I really should get going. My flight leaves in an hour and a half, and it will take me at least 20 minutes to get to the airport. My flight leaves in an hour and a half, and it will take me at least 20 minutes to get to the airport. Okay. Well, have a great flight, and call me as soon as you get in.
Okay. Well, have a great flight, and call me as soon as you get in. I'll finish my story later. I'll finish my story later. Great. Great. And don't forget to get me those biscuits I asked for. And don't forget to get me those biscuits I asked for. Don't worry, I won't. See you. Don't worry, I won't. See you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, hang up now. Bye. Okay, hang up now. Um... If you don't, I will. If you don't, I will. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Okay, I'm going to hang up. Hey, don't forget... Banking it. Bankers in the spotlight. Have you had a problem with your bank lately? Every year, the Financial Ombudsman Service, FOS, receives thousands of complaints about banks. At the top of the list of complaints are banking charges. These include charges for going overdrawn, charges for bounced cheques and charges for not having sufficient funds to cover direct debit payments. In some cases, banks charge up to €50 Euros for unauthorised overdrafts, even though the overdrawn amount is as little as two pence. Other complaints refer to bank charge increases. Some banks initially offer customers low rates or even zero banking. However, they later change this, often without informing clients. I've seen the unauthorised overdraft charge on my account go from £15 when I opened the account to £35 a year later. At no point was I consulted or given the chance to agree with these changes, said one angry customer. When I opened my account, they told me there were no charges. But now, every time I write a cheque, they charge me 50 pence, said another customer. One woman decided to take her bank to court. Mrs Reynolds, 53 was so angry about her bank charges that she started a claim for £1,500. She won the case, partly because the bank failed to dispute the claim. However, the bank failed to pay the money promptly, so she sent bailiffs to their bank's head office to collect it. I spent days phoning them, trying to resolve the matter. But they did not return one single phone call, she explained. Her actions seemed to work. The bank paid up quickly and a spokesperson made a public apology. We'd like to apologise to Mrs Reynolds for any delays. Unfortunately... 
there was an administrative error in sending the payment. However, I can now confirm that it has been made. So, the check's in the post, right? Excuses, excuses. Listening and repeat. Financial Ombudsman Service... Financial Ombudsman Service The Financial Ombudsman Service, an organization that tries to settle disputes between consumers and UK-based businesses providing financial services, banks, etc. An ombudsman is a person, organization that investigates complaints. Complaints Complaints A complaint. If you make a complaint, you say that you are not happy about something, a service. Charges. Charges. A charge. An amount of money you must pay for a service. Going overdrawn? Going overdrawn? To go overdrawn. To take out more money from your account than you have. Bounced. Bounced. To bounce. A check. If a check bounces, the bank doesn't pay the amount. Direct debit payments. Direct debit payments. A direct debit payment. An amount of money that comes out of your account every month to pay for something you have bought previously. Unauthorized. 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 Without official permission. Overdrafts. Overdrafts. An overdraft. An amount of money you can borrow from the bank, sometimes without having to pay charges. Rates. Rates. A rate. A fixed amount of money you must pay for something. Take her bank to court. Take her bank to court. To take someone to court. To start a legal process against someone in order to get compensation. Claim. Claim. A claim. A formal demand for something. Dispute. Dispute. A dispute. An argument between two people, parties. Promptly. 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 Quickly. Resolve the matter. Resolve the matter. To resolve a matter. To find a solution to a problem. Apology. Apology. An apology. If someone makes an apology, they say sorry. Delays. Delays. A delay. If there is a delay, something happens later than planned. Environmental crimes. New term invented to classify environmental crimes. War crimes. Crimes against humanity. 
Crimes of aggression. Genocide. These are the four crimes against peace. But soon there may be a fifth. Echocide. British lawyer Polly Higgins wants to see the mass destruction of the environment considered a crime too, on the same level as genocide. If she's successful, environmental cases could be tried at the International Criminal Court, ICC. Echocide already has its own dictionary definition. The extensive destruction, damage to, or loss of ecosystems of a given territory, whether by human agency or by other causes, to such an extent that peaceful enjoyment by the inhabitants of that territory has been severely diminished. At present, it's very difficult to prosecute companies for environmental crimes. But under an ecocide law, it would be easier to put individuals, such as directors of companies, on trial. This would put more pressure on fossil fuel, mining, agricultural, and chemical companies to act within the law. These measures would also help prevent disasters such as the deep water horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. This occurred after an explosion off an offshore drilling rig operating off the coast of Louisiana. The explosion occurred on the 20th of April, 2010, and resulted in a fire that sank the rig and caused a massive oil spill. Eleven rig workers were killed and 17 others were injured. The deep water oil well, which is owned by BP, was operating 1,500 meters below sea level. The results have been devastating with the destruction of marine life and chaos to the Gulf of Mexico fishing and tourism industries. Another ongoing environmental disaster is Alberta tar sands. The area in northeastern Alberta, Canada, has large deposits of bitumen, extremely heavy crude oil. These oil sand deposits lie under 141,000 square kilometers of forest and peat bog land. The Niger Delta is another danger zone. Oil companies have operated there for decades with very little environmental supervision. As a result, the region has become heavily polluted and villagers find it hard to live off the land as the water is poisoned. Let's hope the introduction of ecocide will help stop things like this. Listening and repeat. Genocide. 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 The systematic killing of an ethnic group. Tried. 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 To try. To start a legal process against someone in order to get compensation. To such an extent, to such an extent, 
to such an extent. To such an extent, to such a level, to such an amount. Enjoyment. 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 If you have enjoyment of an area, you can live there happily, comfortably, safely, etc. The inhabitants. The inhabitants. The inhabitants. An inhabitant. A person who lives in the area you are referring to. Diminished. 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 To diminish, to reduce, to decrease. Put on trial. Put on trial. Put on trial. To put on trial, to start a legal process against someone in order to get compensation. Fossil fuel? Fossil fuel? Fossil fuel? A fossil fuel, energy sources, from the remains of once living organisms, such as oil, gas, coal, etc. To act within the law. To act within the law. To act within the law. To ACT within the law, to do things that are legal, permitted. Offshore 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 not on land, in the sea. Sank. 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 To sink. If something sinks, it goes under the water and to the bottom of the sea. Heavy crude oil. Heavy crude oil. Heavy crude oil. Heavy crude oil. Very dense oil that has not been refined or processed. Peat bog. Peat bog. Peat bog. Peat bog land. An area of land that is wet. 